okay. I'm just giving this time, just giving my time to just really, really flow into the spirit right now. But how is everyone today? Today is May 14th, 2020. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Whew. The Lord has given me fire um, this morning to share with you um, something that I pray that is going to break chains, and I believe it is. For those that, for those that have a willing spirit right now, remain open to what the Spirit is saying to you. Stay open. In spite of what the enemy is telling you, stay open to what God is telling you as I read this word so he can continue to do a work in you while you are open, while you are open. So I'm praying that you are open, that you are open to receive what God is speaking. Jesus, Jesus. I'm going to read Matthew 18. Verse 3. Jesus. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Just as a child depends on their parent for everything, without stress, without worry, without anxiety, without worrying about where the next meal is going to come from or how um, their shelter is going to be taken care of or how they're going to be clothed. Just like you as a child depended on your parent to do these things for you, we are to depend on our Heavenly Father to do these things for us. Just like a parent is ready and willing, without a thought, to give to their children in this way, our Heavenly Father is willing and open and that much more to give to us. As we call ourselves adults, Remember that that word adult is not mentioned in the word of God. We are children to God. He wants to bless us in a way that we can never imagine. He loves caring for us. No matter how many times as you as a child has disrespected your parent where, and you were unruly, you were disobedient, God still he blesses us. You still as a parent give to your child. So we must become as little children. We must become very dependent on the father. So we can see how his hand moves in our lives where, pri where pride won't allow us to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pride would not allow you to see the hand of God move in your life in a way that God desires you to see it. You have to surrender. You have to submit just as a child. A child is humble. We must be humble. It is okay if you don't have it right. It is okay if you don't have every dollar for that bill. It is okay. It is okay that you made that mistake and you, you spent that money on something else when God was telling any for you to use it for another thing. He has forgiven that. He still comes through for you even if you make wrong choices. We still come through for our children when they make wrong choices. We have allowed this world to beat us down as adults. The way this system is operated has separated the ideal from what it really means, hallelujah, to depend on our heavenly father. 
It is not by our, our, our deeds and our works that we must win his favor. He's already given the gift at the cross when he went through the pain and suffering to lay down his life for us in the name of Jesus. He has given the gift so we can live. He has given the gift of humility and submission so we can live. Don't allow this world to continue to beat you down and to separate you from what the promises of God has said upon your life. I'm going to read this again. Matthew 18, verse 3. True and said and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter in the kingdom of heaven. Or whenever he requires Jesus. I am going to read Isaiah 26. Give me a second. One second. Just go ahead and process on that word. I'm going to um, move on to Isaiah 26. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to actually read the Amplified Version um, of Matthew 18 um, right now, uh, verse 3. And it says, um, starting from verse 2, he called... A little child and set him before them and said, I assure you and most solemnly say to you, unless you repent, that is change your inner self, your old way of thinking, live changed lives and become like children, trusting, humble and forgiving. You will never enter the kingdom of heaven. And I'm going to read verse four. Therefore, whoever humbles himself like this child is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Humility takes you a long way. I've had to get broken down in a lot of ways to be able to see how gentle hearted God is towards me and how much he really loves me. Jesus It's the same way we want to treat our children and that we do treat our children. We want to give them the world. Can you only imagine what God wants to give us? Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge God and he will direct your path. This is a season for us to be in humility before God. Whatever is in us, God is ready and willing to clean us, to purge us from those things that keep us from getting to, to know God on a level that he wants us to know him on. This is about relationship. This isn't about religion. God talks and he talks loud. He has a plan for you. He, had a, he has a plan for me. And the only way that we get to see the plan of our father is to obey is to humble ourselves and pray and turn from our wicked ways. Corinthians, that's 2 Corinthians 7, 14. So I pray that you receive this word and know that you have not gone too far that the Heavenly Father cannot bring you back and love on you and restore you and rebuild you and make you new. In Jesus' name, I was going to read Isaiah 26. Do, 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 That might be my next, uh, my next video. Isaiah 26. All right. So in order, I was going to talk about, um, staying in peace. Actually, these things, when you listen to what the heavenly father is telling you, um, Isaiah 26, three, you will keep in perfect peace and constant peace. Excuse me. You will keep in perfect and constant peace. The one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you in both inclination and character because he trusts. That means you trust and you take refuge 
with hope and confident expectation. Confident expectation in knowing that the Lord is there, always there, has never forsaken you, has never left you. When you do his will and you obey his word and you believe, you believe, you believe what he says to you, you believe his promises, this is how you stay in perfect peace. Staying in perfect peace is not um, gossiping. It is not um, everything that comes to your mind that you say out of your mouth in Jesus name. I'm going to do some more on this um, about peace on my next video, but I just wanted you to um, receive the word um, about being like a child and being humble before the Lord because it is okay to be humble. You got to sometimes, you know, it ain't going to feel good. It's not going to feel good for you to humble yourself before the Lord or before people. But that's how God gets the glory. Lay down your life and submit before the Lord because he has already done it all for you. We owe God nothing. God owes us nothing. Excuse me. And we go, owe God everything. Excuse me. In the name of Jesus, we go, we owe God everything. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. Thank you for your word. And I pray that you guys just fill yourselves up in the Holy Spirit in these times. God doesn't want us to, to fret and worry about nothing. Be a, as a child. Know that whatever your needs are, God is going to come through for you because he loves you.